Okay, so it's into Arcadia to see Dima, complete uh, the quest, and continue the next quest, the best one, which is Best Left Forgotten. The storage drives, I must do the storage drives, because that will help me find my way around the island. Right, let's get this party. Well, you know what's coming next. Let's see Dima. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. Well, in that case, I want a new cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and um, hmm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She's human. And she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. 
I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? I'm part of a group that helps since. A railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Ideals aren't gonna protect escaped synths. We do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth. In relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators. The Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? So, everyone here in Acadia is a Sith? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Okay, so I can now help Faraday uh, with his storage drives. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. 
Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so that's the quest. Data recovery, the storage drive initiated. So uh, I have to hack this later, I might as well do it now. Synth? Of course, uh, I guess you wouldn't know, would you? Yes? Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Excuse me. Yes? Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype. Never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go and see Kasumi now. Now it's important if you follow this quest line not to talk to anyone else. Uh, only Dima, Faraday and Kasumi. Otherwise it can get pretty complicated. Right, she's right down in the basement. Let's get this done. And on to the next quest, which is the most important one. Best left for gone. Right. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Maybe if I reroute the sensors? Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I, 
I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. <laughs> Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that i found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop. It's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Okay, so it's back upstairs to the terminal, which has already been hacked to get the, the program. Uh, but also, before I do that, I want to go up and get the key, uh, the storage key. I know where it is, and I shall take you straight there. And don't forget to pick up the goodies on the way. Right, so we go out of here. We go down there. We don't talk to anyone. Stay away from everybody. And there's a door over on the right. Let's make sure we've got everything set up as we need to. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's this basically. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Oh, that was too close. That guy in the uh, mechanic suit is a traitor. Uh, they are actually a quest giver. So basically, yeah, you keep going round into that table over there, and on that table is the key, and that's what we're going for. Okay. 
they see I think I should be able to jump down without wrecking the place. <laughs> Excellent, uh, that's brilliant, I've got all that, and plus we can read all about it. So by doing this quest first, we get access to all the armour, all the diving armour, all the stuff and uh, everything. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm going this way first. So by reading Faraday's log, we find out that the plan to send someone else other than somebody who's known to the children of Adam was already in place, so we're just doing that. Yeah, so you definitely need the program. Don't forget to download the program. You're going to need it when you, get, when you do get to the sub-base. Now we report back to Kasumi and proceed to the next level, or the next step of the quest. There's loads of stuff on the, the menu and uh, all that other stuff. I'm not going to handle any of that stuff until I've done this quest. Okay, let's get back downstairs. out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. So, and after this, I'll be going off to get the storage drives and stopping in on a little bunker on the way. It's really handy to know where this bunker is. I'll give you out there. It's great. And you can find out all about that in my next video, because this video has come to an end. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.